Hey guys, it's Lucas KO Bro here with my 17th spy video. I know it took a really long time to get this out to you, so let's just get right back into it. I kill a soldier, a medic, a spy, and a heavy before a sniper forces me to DR. I move into the building on the left to top off my health and to get more metal for my DR charge. When I'm feeling confident, I hop back out and get a nice stair stab on a soldier. A medic starts to give chase. But when I <laughs> dart to the side, he's just like, screw this. So I just go right back for another kill. Now I made a huge mistake here. I could have stair stabbed the, the heavy, but I was trying to jump past him. When I noticed he didn't notice me, I just go right in for the free kill. I try to get the inobservant soldier as well, but once again, the medic cock blocks me. So once again, I try and get him to bait him off away from his teammates, but he doesn't come. He thinks better of it. So <laughs> I do the exact same thing. Anytime someone lets you alone, when you're in a good position, just go right back in for another kill. Aw, yeah. <laughs> Pick up the heavy kill and start to move forward. Now, unfortunately, the team is really stacked and they've just been destroying the cart, just like dest capturing everything. So I try to move forward and do something about that. I set the mini sentry and will stab the soldier before getting compression blasted away. And thanks to DR, I make it out of there. Sometimes you can't win all the games, sometimes you're against stacked teams, but you know, you gotta try and do your best. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> now I'm once again waiting in my favorite cheeky spot on Frontier. Waiting for someone to come out of spawn. And there's an Uber on the left side, so I don't wait, wait till that wears off. And I see a heavy, so I want to stab him. However, he's not walking out of spawn, and a scout comes out instead. So finally, I give up patience on the heavy and move forward and stab the scout. Now I move back because I really want to catch that heavy, and a medic startles me. <laughs> He breaks my DR, but since there's metal on the ground everywhere, I can just remove it and instantly pick up another DR. Now I try to walk into the corridor here. There's a soldier there, so I dart this way. I see metal on the ground, so I move towards it. If I had removed DR right here, I would have gotten another free DR, but I accidentally picked up the metal without moving DR. This puts me in a really bad spot. Now I'm in the middle of their spawn and get brought to 2 HP by the spy, and I'm still getting chased by the sniper. So I go for the blind stair stab on the sniper with 2 HP. Hell yeah. <laughs> 2 HP. It's all you need, right? <laughs> Now, when someone's ubered, they often will not pay attention to the timing of it. So when it's about to wear off, just dart behind him and go for a stab. Here it allows me to pick up not only the heavy, but also the medic. I move forward, and the medic notices me, but the soldier does not, so I can dart forward for a free kill. Now watch, the medic goes into that hallway. Just keep in mind. Now I hear a heavy coming out, but he instantly turns, so I'm able to just dart right behind him since I know he can't see me. Once again, the medic goes into that hallway, so I predict he's going to come out about now and go in for the kill. Now unfortunately, I missed a few shots on a very low health soldier, making this clip slightly less impressive. And then I see an edgy, so I move forward to try and encourage him to just back up and not push the cart. I get brought very low though, so I retreat for a little health before moving back in. I crouched up on the left side. This path is amazing for flanking your opponents in this area of Frontier. Now, they've captured the next spawn point. However, they just captured it recently, so there are still some people moving up past the other spawn point. So, once I pick up health, I peek my head out to see if I can bait anyone to come follow me. And an edgy sees me, but I'm not sure if he's coming this way, so I double check, and he's right there, and he shoots me, so I have to jump in the air instantly and get a nice stair step on him. And I shake my head there. I know that clip is going to end up on my spy videos. <laughs> Breaking the third wall. Now, I zap the mini sentry and stab two medics. However, I make a big error here. Whenever you miss your headshot, well just don't, because it puts you in a really bad spot. Here I miss my headshot on Spy, and the Spy is able to bring me down with two shots of his revolver before I'm even able to bring up DR. The re default revolver has much more consistent damage if you miss your first headshot on the Ambassador. So just try to aim the best you can. Now, you want to be next to your opponents and be facing where your team is. It's a great way to pick up some free situational kills. Here, I'm able to pick up the Medic and the Sniper because of it, and then dart down for the demo kill. Now I disguise the sniper and face towards my teammate, and this gives me a free kill. The pyro thought I was just repositioning as a sniper to get a better shot, but really, I was just picking him up. Now a pyro starts to chase me and puts him on fire, so I DR turn around and notice he's really close, so I jump over his head and make a clean escape. Not only does this avoid his flames and allow me to use my stealth to get to safety, it positions me behind the new spawners instead of in front of them, allowing me to set up some more kills. I move forward and notice some are about to jump down, so I just wait for it and then move forward, removing the spy's DR, and I start to follow Pyro. Now he misses the jump, and this gives me a free kill. Who would miss that jump, huh? <laughs> then I move to the side of Sniper and 
get another kill, and then I get Ubered! So I move forward to kill another demo before a soldier forces me to have to run away. Now I call up the enemy spy to my team before picking up metal. Now notice, I removed Yara before taking fallen damage and put the AR right back up because I know the spy is right behind me. He stabs me, breaks my DR, but he doesn't notice I'm still alive. So I remove my DR to try and bait him to come join me, to come follow me because I still want to kill him. But he doesn't take the bait. He didn't hear it or something. We were distracted. So I pick up the metal, jump down, pick up the health, and start to give chase. Now, notice that the cart has not been being pushed a lot. We're against this stacked team and we have not been moving it, so that's my priority. However, I see a heavy who has just left spawn. So, I move forward for the free stab on the heavy. Now, I see the spy finally, but I want to push that cart. And I start to get it shot, but I give it a moment before I air to make the fade more deceptive. Now, I myself missed the jump several times, and this must be the really bad spot. <laughs> so, I've geared in front of a bunch of them. I'm able to pick up the health metal, but <laughs> they all know I'm there, and to make matters worse, I get gerati So I go for the only thing I can see, which is the sap on the sentry. Now I slash wildly at the end, and it freaks him out, and he falls down! So it turns my pointless death into an amazing sap on a really important sentry. <laughs> what a fortunate turn of events. Now, using a friendly disguise is really important situationally. It can get you, it can basically be really deceptive and can get you a lot of amazing stabs. <laughs> I've been kind of like cowering in that corner and using it a lot, using those stairs a lot, but by switching to a friendly disguise, it completely fooled someone who even expected me to be there. <laughs> it can work wonders. Now, when you're using your disguises, you want to play acts. Here I'm behind an enemy, but when he, uh, when I'm afraid I got into his peripheral vision, I freeze and pretend like I'm a sniper, and then just give him a stab once I'm feeling safe. You're basically, as a spy, you're not only trying to act deceptive, you're also just trying to act. You want to act like the enemy. Now here, a spy sees me with a teammate, so I know he's not going to be fooled, so I just move forward for a really nice stair stab on him. And then, once again, I change the sniper, because snipers often stand in this position here. And even though this time I am in his peripheral vision for sure, I, he just expects that I'm a teammate of his and I'm able to walk forward for an easy kill. Now, disguises can be used for more things than just blending in. They often can be used to bait someone. Now here I see a pyro, but I'm I'm not disguised yet, so I feel I don't want to go for it. And then I see a heavy who sees me change disguises, so I bait like I'm running away before going for a really nice kill on him. You can always use your disguises, just bait people and things like that, and it's really amazing. Now. Sentries can sometimes single-handedly win the game for you. Here we got 30 seconds left on the clock, but a sentry is moving in a really good spot. Such a good spot, I even do a double take because I had no clue we had one there. It's amazing. So I move forward, jump in the air, and get a headshot on the sniper. Hell yeah. Now my priority here is to keep that sentry alive, so the pyro and heavy here are not my priority. I want to take out the sniper and the demo, who could be a threat to that engineer. So once I'm feeling confident, I move forward and stab the sniper and the demo. Now I want to start pushing the cart because we've only got 7 sec seconds left on the clock. Now I try to flank the heavy, but a spy is right here and he boxes me out. Now once we get both get low, we both go right for that health pack. That's exactly what you want to do. Friend or foe, you want to deny the, the enemy from that health pack. Now I see a soldier and I go move forward for the stab, but completely whiff it and then die to him. But luckily, thanks to the NG moving up the sentry once again, we're able to win the round. It was a very close one. Good job, NG. Now, my DR is blown here, and I start to look for a good opportunity to take out this NG. I decide to pick up some metal to reset my DR before moving back in. I sap his buildings, and then try and do a straight jump around the building, but completely fail at it. But I turn this clip around a little bit by getting a headshot, and then body shot on a really good sniper. I start to switch my disguises to try and go back in. I want it to be less deceptive. Unfortunately, a second NG flanks me and forces my hand, so... I move forward for a really nice side stab on him before the first NG finishes me off. Well guys, are you ready for my brand new segment I like to call... Just the Tip. <laughs> That's right, some of these segments offered really good tips that just didn't fit elsewhere, so I'm going to put them here. I mean, but it's it's not just one tip, it's it's multiple tips. So I don't know, but it's plural. Just just the tips? Just the tips. Just the tip. Is, is, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with some double entendre, right? <laughs> Actually, my, my family does do watch these videos sometimes, so I'll just call this TF2 Tips. I know, how original, right? <laughs> Here, I move forward and see an NG holding still, so I just assume he's going to stay that way, and completely whiff the stab on him, then completely miss the headshot, but just him moving slightly, and a pyro startles me! I get in a really bad spot, but I make a really nice escape. 
tip number one. When you're in really, a really bad spot here, you can take this path. But I know what you're thinking. What happens if the fire run, rounds down the other side? Well, don't worry. Just heads on him, like a boss. <laughs> and then just take that same path right back the way you came. That's what makes this path so versatile and so important in this section of Frontier, and it's amazing. Now, if you're like me, you're feeling really butthurt that you missed that really easy stab on the NG. But it, do not go for the NG who's building it in a really bad spot. You want to leave him alive. Don't do what I do. You want to leave him alive and his sentry alive because that actually is beneficial if he's building in a terrible spot. Now, when you're using the ambassador, after taking your first shot, you need to wait a brief period before firing again or your shots will be inaccurate. Unfortunately, I don't do that here, so I missed the, the shoulder several times. So finally, you know, I collect myself and go for the headshot. You always want to go for accuracy with the ambassador, not just flare around sh shooting. And also, if you're able to jump while you get that headshot, then you get bonus style points. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love doing those midair headshots. I just absolutely love to do those. Now, if you're like me, you hate when you mess up. Don't worry. Never let an error get you down. Here, I completely whiff a serious stab, but I'm able to just let the medic's overconfidence turn into an easy side stab on him. Always use your opponent's overconfidence to your advantage. And another tip. I'm able to mess with the spy here and stab a little heavy, but the tip is when you're very close to capturing the point, do anything you can to distract the opponents or make them run the wrong way. This will oftentimes get them to chase you and allow your team to capture an objective. It's really helpful. Now, when you're playing TF2, you're against all kinds of opponents. And here, I find a really bad one. You have to be able to react quickly. Here, I had no clue how to predict the Pyro's movements, and I'm forced to react. And because I'm able to be flexible, I get a really nice stair stab on an enemy. In addition to this, this is the path I showed before. It can be used for more than just escape. Now, when you're against really good such replacement, like this one, you want to do anything you can to take it out, including unique new paths that your enemies wouldn't expect. I'm able to headshot the NG twice, take out his dispenser, and get his sentry down to very low health. While I'm not able to destroy it, my teammates are able to finish it off in a few seconds after this, and it really helped out my team. The game is really stacked, so we didn't end up winning, but still, any use any creative way you can to take out sentries. Now, the final tip. It's 100% okay to steal a kill from your teammates, as long as you do it like a badass. <laughs> as long as it's flashy. <laughs> well guys, thank you so much for watching my 17th Spy video. If you got something to say, put it in the comments! I read every one. Please, I would love to hear what you have to say. Also, if you liked it, leave me a like! The smallest little bit of effort by just leaving a like gives me so much reinforcement to continue to make these and it just makes me feel good. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, subscribe because I continue to release videos for a very long time. Well guys, I want to take a moment to give a big shout out to Wandog. World of Wandog did the music for this whole video. He's an amazing composer. He's a composer for IG. He's worked with EA. He's worked with Survivor. He's he's an amazing composer for television, for film. Just <laughs> stunning. And his work is excellent. I absolutely love him. And he's, not only that, he's a pretty awesome guy. And uh, <laughs> he's just a boss. Now, I just wanted to take a moment and thank him because all of the music comes from him. Check out his music at worldofwandog.com. Now I know you're probably wondering why am I giving a shout out to him because normally I don't do that. Well, I probably should because music drastically increases the quality of my videos and it means so much to me that these wonderful artists help me out so much. And in addition to that, I know Wandog personally. Well, sort of. <laughs> we play a game together. We play a video game together called Autonauts, which he also did the score for, <laughs> coincidentally. So I just want to give a big thank you to him. Thanks so much, man. You really helped improve the quality of this video. And all artists out there who let me use their music, thank you so much, guys. You make my dreams come true. Well, sorry this video took so long. I had uh, summer. I was distracted by summer. I had a summer vacation. I had to visit uh, some sick relatives, unfortunately, and uh, was just kind of enjoying my, my summertime off. Um, also, I do these videos in really big chunks, so basically I'll do the work for like, you know, two, three, four videos all at once. 
And uh, so, <laughs> if all goes right, most of the work for a few more videos is already done. So hopefully, you know, if all goes well, you'll get the next one pretty soon, not months away. <laughs> Sorry that you had to wait so long. Hopefully it was worth the wait. If not, <laughs> let me know why. But uh, don't worry, another video will be coming, you know, relatively soon. Well, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for your support, even when I slack off during the summers. <laughs> Oh, and this music. It's just so catchy. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much, One Dog. <laughs> I find myself dancing while doing the commentary. <laughs> mm. Well, thank you so much for watching my 17th spy video. Oh, and th these mid air headshots. Oh, I love them. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And thank you so much for your continuous support. I mean it. You guys probably should have just unsubscribed because of how long it took me to get a video out to you. So I really appreciate you sticking around and I hope to continue to make you guys happy. Now, click that subscribe button and all your ganks with fellow spies will go as successfully as this one. We just tear through a really rough Badwater game removing every single century, and one end he just gives up and stands in the corner laughing because there's just nothing he can do. <laughs> but if you don't click that subscribe button, this will happen to you. You'll just barely miss a stab on a heavy. I hate when that happens. <laughs> anyway, guys, take care. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is my stay away. Bye, dear.